This is the end of the 38th day in the Gaza-Israel war. I'm Yair Pinto reporting to you from Israel. The fighting continues as IDF forces from the Nahal Brigade together with special commando units took over the Shati refugee camp in the Gaza Strip. This refugee camp is one of Hamas's strongholds and includes some 4,000 Hamas terrorists. Many of them took part in the massacre attacks on the 7th of October against Israeli civilians surrounding the Gaza Strip. So far, the Nahal and the commando units were able to identify and neutralize more than 160 terror tunnels, as well as 2,800 Hamas infrastructure in the Shati area. In the Gaza Strip, the IDF was able to take control of Hamas strongholds of its elite 17 force, as well as the Rantisi hospital, which was used by Hamas as a major command station, weapons stockpile, and a location to hide Israeli hostages. We've all seen the footage of what happened underneath the Rantisi hospital. As part of the attack on the Shati area in the Gaza Strip, Division 401, that includes tanks and infantry units, spearheaded the attack while other forces of the IDF joined in from the north, neutralizing terror cells in the suburbs surrounding Shati. The IDF was able to identify and neutralize multiple missile launchers that were used to fire rockets towards the civilian populated areas of Israel, including Tel Aviv and other central cities of the country. The IDF was able to capture multiple Hamas terrorists that were taken into Israel for investigation and will hopefully shed some light into the whereabouts of our hostages inside the Gaza Strip. Simultaneously, in the northern part of the Shati refugee camp, infantry units carried out operations that targeted the leadership of Hamas inside the Shati refugee camp before they were able to evacuate south together with the civilian population. The IDF has been destroying Hamas terror infrastructure that was built for close to 20 years in the past 30 days. Hamas has been preparing for this war for so long that the fighting is still ongoing and the IDF has a lot more ground and surprises to uncover from Hamas. I call on all of you to pray for the peace of Israel and pray for the IDF to release the Israeli hostages.